Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and I was recently contacted by Artino Collection and asked if I would be interested in reviewing their Diplomat Minimalist Front Pocket Wallet and they were gracious enough to send me the different colors they have available on Amazon. Um, I've been testing out one of their colors which is this one here. This is their light brown color. I've really grown fond of these type of uh, these leather minimalist wallets and especially in the brown shades. Now this is the one that I've been using around. I actually just replaced my cards and IDs with the test cards here. But this is the one that I've been carrying and it's broken in really really nicely. It is a leather wallet so obviously it'll show a little bit more wear and um, use uh, the more you use it. But for the most part I think that actually adds to the look of the wallet itself. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, how it comes when you originally purchase it and then uh, the different colors that are available and just speak a little bit about the wallet itself. So when you get the wallet from Amazon you will get it like this and I like the the very minimalistic packaging that they went with here. Um, you know obviously the cardboard uh, sleeve that the wallet comes in is just big enough to actually house the wallet itself so you're not getting a lot of uh, bulky packaging material or anything like that it comes in this little bag here so as you open it up again you have this kind of cardboard sleeve and it tells you a little bit about a company in the back welcome to artino collection and thank you for your support some of their uh, social media stuff right there if you guys are interested so uh, you open it up and inside you will find the wallet now this one here is in one of the other colors that they have available which is their texas black color so it comes wrapped in this uh little paper here so you just take that off and here is the wallet itself so as you guys see you do have a little bit of branding right here so you have AR uh, for Artino collection right there and then um, the wallet so again it is a minimalist and what they're calling a front pocket wallet now one of the first things that I noticed is that this is a little bit bigger than what I would expect a minimalist wallet to be and while most people might think that that is actually a drawback that takes up too much room I actually like the fact that they went with a little bit of a bigger footprint with their wallets uh, especially because sometimes minimalist wallets depending on the construction and the makeup they tend to be too minimalist and I, I know that sounds kind of weird because obviously if you want minimalist you want small but sometimes they're so small that you could barely fit your cards in there or your cash and stuff like that and and again, um, one of the key things to remember with a minimalist wallet is you want to carry as little as possible. But I think for the most part, sometimes companies tend to just kind of make it just exactly fit to size and again once you start putting things inside it gets too tight it's it's hard to get the cards out had to get the car and get into the cash and you know you end up not wanting to use it so I think for the most part the size that they went with here um, Artino collection definitely um, is an advantage for the wallet so you do get this uh, little card here that um, gives you 20% off I'll set that to the side there and then uh, we'll look at the wallet itself. Again, this one is the Texas Black. So the wallet is constructed out of leather and then it also has RFID blocking capabilities, which is really nice because again, once you get your cards in there, you're not gonna have to worry about people stealing your information or anything like that. So the wallet is basically mirrored the same on either side. You have three credit card or ID slots on this side. And then you have a slip pocket right here. And then you have the same thing on the opposite side. So again, three credit card or ID pockets and then a slip pocket right here. What you also have is you have a larger pocket right here in the middle. And I think for the most part, that's why you have that extra size. So um, basically most minimalist wallets would pretty much end right here where you see this stitching and yes you might have a, a pocket in the middle but again um, it would make it pretty much about this size so they went and gave you a little bit extra room to actually be able to get in there and you know whatever it is that you have in there whether it is cash or cards or something like that it's in my opinion a lot easier to get into especially when you first start using the wallet before you actually break it in so let me show you guys what I'm talking about again this is the one that I have been using I just replaced the cards with the test cards here so it has the six the six cards already 
in there. So three on this side and three on this side. And what I've been doing is I've been carrying my cash in this uh, slot right here. Now the reason for it is because it makes it a lot easier to get to. So I can just pull it out like that. And then when I'm done, I can go ahead and put it back in there. Now I have not put anything in this back slot right there because again, I don't want to add too much more bulk to the wallet itself. And if I do end up picking up receipts or something like that, I do want to have an empty spot to be able to do that. So that's what I've dedicated that spot for there. Now with my minimalist wallets, um, I basically just carry cards, IDs, and cash, which is pretty much what you should be carrying in a minimalist wallet. But I found myself carrying more and more business cards also. And I have both personal business cards for my YouTube channel and then um, my business business cards. So um, in most minimalist wallets, I end up just having to either use one of the um, pockets for the cards or not carrying it which uh, again, I have been doing more and more lately. So um, what I've been doing is I've actually been putting them in the middle right there. So this acts like a business card case for me. I can just reach in there, you know, grab my business card, hand it off, or if somebody gives me one of theirs, I can just slide it right in there. And again, because you do have that extra material right there, it makes it a lot easier just to open that up and go in there, grab the business card, hand it off, or, in, or put any other ones that I get right in there, and they're in the middle there. So as you guys can see, obviously, I would probably have a little bit more business cards. I just have the one in there to show you guys, but it fits in there perfectly. And um, you still keep that nice and thin form factor that a minimalist wallet, especially one that's designed to go in your front pocket, would definitely have. So um, it's been really nice um, using this. Uh, I haven't been carrying it in my front pocket. It, um, just because I normally would carry my wallet, whether it's a regular wallet or a minimalist wallet, in my back pocket. And even there, it's still um, is very thin. I don't even feel it when I'm sitting down or anything like that. And I know, um, you know, that's one of the, the key things is um, if you want to go with a slim thin wallet, you don't want to feel it. So um, as far as having it in your back pocket, it works perfect. If you did want to carry it in your front pocket, again, it is a nice and thin form factor. So you are able to do that. So obviously, besides the light brown and the Texas black, the other colors that they have available, um, I'll show you guys here. This one is the dark brown color. So again, if you are um, fond of the brown shades and you want it to go with a darker shade, this is their dark brown. Looks really, really nice. Nice, rich, dark brown color. And then um, this one right here actually um, was the one that I was most um, looking forward to seeing. And that's because um, I would have never picked this color for my wallet. But once I saw it in hand, it looks really, really nice. And I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. This is the one that they call red wine. And part of the reason that I wanted to see it in hand is because it looks very bright and vibrant on the uh, Amazon page, but in person, it's a little bit more muted. So it makes it a lot easier to, um, to justify carrying it. And, um, you know, I, I like it. I really, I really like this red again. I would have probably not ordered it myself had they not sent it to me so I can look at it. And, uh, now having it in hand, it's, it's definitely different. Um, especially if you want to, you know, make a statement, uh, you can definitely see it, you know, laying on the table or something like that. Uh, if, if you don't want to, you know, go with the traditional black or brown, then this is a really, really cool alternative as far as the color goes. So as I mentioned, they are RFID blocking. So that capability is available with any other colors that you choose. And um, one of the best things is that um, the wallets come in at $19.97. So 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, a nice leather, genuine leather, minimalist RFID blocking wallet is a great option. Um, they offer a prime shipping on Amazon through any of these uh, wallets that you order. So if you guys want to go ahead and pick up a really cool minimalist wallet, maybe it's your first venture into a, um, a thinner wallet, you know, something smaller like this, then this would be a great option to use. Uh, again, I've uh, been carrying this one around and it's been uh, doing a great job. It breaks in really, really nice. The leather becomes nice and supple, nice and soft and especially obviously once you start putting your stuff in there and using it and carrying it around and stuff like that it will develop um, a patina of its own and it'll look really really nice so again these are the four colors that are available for the diplomat wallet so um, you have your dark brown your red wine your light brown and your um, texas black here all available through their Amazon page. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and leave a link below to them if you guys are interested in maybe finding out some more information or if you wanna just go ahead and pick one up, you can go ahead and do that. So there it is. That is the Diplomat Minimalist Front Pocket Wallet from Artino Collection. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.